Welcome to a brand new episode of SMDC The Good Feed with me and Andre. And we are now here at SMDC Field Residences. Tingnan niyo naman ang lobby. Parang hotel. <laughs> Pag nakatira kayo sa isang lugar na may magagandang amenities, gamitin niyo with your loved ones and friends para naman tuloy-tuloy ang bonding niyo. We all know basketball is a competitive but fun sport and it is also a great way to stay fit and healthy. Pero bago namin kayo turuan ng mga basketball moves, I want to remind everyone watching to like and subscribe sa official YouTube channel ng SMDC which is at the official SMDC. Pero bago tayo pumunta sa basketball court, I just want to remind and refresh everyone uh, my dad's playing position. Hmm. Ikaw ba, Dad? Ano ba yung position mo dati sa basketball? Nag-start like talaga ako uh, center. So, five position. Okay. We all know centers or yung mga power forward ay mga pumuposte lamang dati. Pero ikaw ba, Dad? Marunong ka na ba mag-dribble ng basketball? <laughs> we'll find out. Now, for our second episode, we are going to teach you dribbling. Remember, if you're going to dribble the ball, don't dribble with your palm. Use your fingers. The most important thing, you don't look at the ball. Okay? Bakit? Kasi, in a game, you have no time to look at the ball and look at your opponent and look at what's going on. So you need to look what's going on, never look at the ball. So now, Dre, mm -hmm. stay low. Okay? Stay low. Dribble with your fingers. Okay? As you can see, I am dribbling with my fingers and staying low. Why do we stay low and why do we dribble hard? Well, obviously, to make it more difficult for the defender to swipe the ball or steal the ball from you. Okay, Dre, I want you to do the high move. Okay, so this is a perfect drill to do, even as a beginner or even pro level, on how to control the basketball. So, what you would want to do is just stand anywhere you want, stationary, and dribble at the height of your shoulder, we have your waist and the knee. So this is how it's supposed to look. Want to dribble high, shoulder height. As you can see, I'm dribbling with my fingers. And this is what we call a pound dribble. Kailangan natin masanay na nagka-pound yung dribble natin. And kung kaya mabilis, the better. To make it more difficult for the defender to steal the ball from you. So, yun lang yung isa sa mga basic skills on dribbling. Pero to make it harder, we're going to use two balls. Okay? So, Andre, do the uh, stationary. Stationary. Here you go. Waist. Waist. Shoulder. Good. Okay, to make it more interesting, Andre, do the alternate dribble. Here we go. Okay. Waist. Alternate. Using my fingers only. And then shoulder height. Shoulder. And to make it uh, a little harder pa, magkakaroon tayo ng konting movement. Okay, Andre, atras ka ng konti. Okay. I want you to dribble. Uh, alternate dribble. You move forward. Shoulder high. Knees. And then go backward. Shoulder high. Shoulder height. Waist. Waist. Knee. Okay. Woo. It's uh, it's simple but it's really hard from the start. Pero kailangan kayong masanay. Now, we're going to teach you the in and out dribble. Andre, what's an in and out dribble? Well, a perfect explanation for the in and out dribble is that it is used for misdirection. Misdirection meaning you want to fake your opponent into thinking you are going in one way, but in reality you are going the other way. Kumbaga, it is a move to fake your defender, or you can use the in and out when it comes to setting up your opponent to open up the floor or to set up another dribble you can combine it with. So, in order to control first the ball, you want to do it an athletic stance. So you have to stay low, 
If you're right-handed, I'm right-handed. Right hand on the ball. Start dribbling. Then, put your hand on the side of the ball. And then, put it across your body like this. See? Side. There. But be careful to not put your hand under the ball because that is considered lifting or a carry in today's game. If you want to make it harder, and you should, Andre, step back. Okay. Now you walk doing the in and out. In and out. This is just to get the feel of the ball and to get the feel of your in and out dribble. This is still not yet considered as, you know, faking or misdirecting your opponent. So in a game, this is how you're going to use the in and out dribble. Okay, Andre, I pretend I'm going to defend you. Here you go. So. See? That's misdirection. At the same time, you have to learn how to sell the fake. And how do we sell the fake? You have to involve your whole body or usually just your foot and your head. Now we're going to teach you the crossover dribble. Yes. Andre, please demonstrate. One way to use the crossover dribble is by dribbling the ball from one hand to the other as fast as you can. So again, athletic stance, stay low. Dribble first on one hand, and then move the ball across your body to the next hand. And of course, since we are doing this in a beginner level, you gotta stay low, stay stationary, Get the feel of the ball and do it at a slow pace first. Because you don't want to rush anything. There you go. And once you get the hang of dribbling the ball from one hand to the other, start swaying with the ball. There you go. Then once you get used to it, you can start going as fast as you can. Okay, so that's how you do the crossover dribble. And now for our next uh, lesson, we will do the between the legs dribble. Andre? The same with the crossover dribble, you want to get the ball from one hand to the other. But this time, the best way to use the crossover dribble is when you have a defender who is very sticky. Yung mga makukulit dumipensa. So this is good to use when there is defense close by or that is onto you. Um, put the ball in one hand, dribble, between the legs, and stop it at your thigh. In that way, you get the feel of the ball. That's how it's supposed to look, and you can do it on the other side. Stop on your thigh. There you go. In this way, you can build momentum, or at the same time, like I said, get used to dribbling. So once the sanay ka na, once you want to go advance, Stationary pa rin. You don't need big space to do this. You can start moving with the ball and it's very important that your body goes with it. Here you go. Okay, and again, you can do this at home or here inside the court. Don't make it too complicated. Always start from the basics. Do it as slow as you can or as fast as you can. You know, okay lang magkamali because that's how you start learning things. Today. And there you guys have it. The different kinds of basic dribbling and again, Kailangan natin matutunan ng mga basics, kaya konti pa lang yun. But don't worry, dahil I am sure magagamit nyo lahat yan. And ito na dad, Ooh. the end of the episode, Ooh. kailangan natin magbigay ng good dad advice sa mga father and kids nila. So ito, how do we make sure that the bond between the father and his children are strong? Hmm. Simple lang yan, hindi lahat magsisimula sa tatay. Sa lahat ng mga anak dyan, please tag your fathers. Yayayin nyo sila. Mag-basketball bonding na kayo katulad namin ni Andre. And on our next episode, another basketball skill will be unlocked only here on SNBC, The Good Fit. Mm. Okay. O, bantay. Game. Ito, ha? Kala mo, ha? Okay. Kakaturo ko lang. Okay. <sighs>